Did you play thousands of hours of Cryptic New Horizons trying to get a Stargate, but now that you have it, you don't even know how to use it? Well, I'm here to help you. Okay, so first of all, what you'll need is all tier 3. Computer case, screen, CPU, memory, two of them, graphics card, internet card, hard drive disk, charger, keyboard, open OS, make sure that specifically open OS, and EEPROM Lua BIOS. Also make sure it's Lua BIOS, not just an EEPROM. Okay, so let's set them up. Here's the case, the screen, and I'll put the charger on the back. Right click it with the wrench to activate it, and then give it some power. Okay, after connecting power, it should light up. I'll also put the keyboard on the screen. Now you'll need to put in the components. So just put them all in including the BIOS and OpenOS, and then turn the PC on. Right-click the screen to access it, and run Install, and press Enter. Yes. Then you'll have to wait a bit. Press Y to reboot, Enter. Okay, now we can install the Stargate program. Write WGET and paste the link that I'll leave in the description with middle click and press enter. Now you should be able to run the Stargate program. Test it out using Stargate control, just like that. Now we'll have to set up the Stargate itself. All right, to build the Stargate, you'll need eight Stargate ring blocks, seven Stargate chevron blocks, and one Stargate base. The Stargate base goes in the middle then follows the Stargate ring blocks, then chevron blocks. Then you will have to make a pattern like this. And upon placing the last block, you'll get the Stargate. Okay, so I moved the Stargate underground so we can make it nicer. You can use camouflage to make it blend in with the rounding area. The next thing you'll need is the Open Computer Stargate interface. You have to place it under the Stargate base block, under the middle block. Then you'll need some Open Computer's cable to connect it to the to your computer. What you'll also need is the RF Stargate power unit to power the Stargate and give it some power. There you go. Now you should be able to run the program on the PC. Right, Stargate control. And it should install. Now you should be seeing large text idle with your address on the left and available energy. That means you've successfully set up the Stargate. The next step is to build another Stargate. Right click it to see its address. Copy it and go back to your original Stargate. On the PC, enter the address and press dial. It should play this animation. Now we can test it out. And just like that, I teleported to another Stargate. Now to travel to another dimension, you'll have to follow these extra steps. First of all, you'll need a Stargate Chevron upgrade. Shift right click your Stargate to upgrade it. Make sure you do that with the other Stargate as well. Also, don't forget to get its address. You can now terminate the previous connection and enter the address. But now we see the problem that the Stargate has in insufficient energy. To fix that, you'll need to add another Stargate power unit. Now it should show that you have a lot more power. Now let's try dialing it. Okay, let's test it out. And there you have it, a working Stargate in Rectech New Horizons. Thanks for watching.